So hi there, healing people and tarot lovers. Um, I'm gonna do a little exercise which was inspired by the reverse five of wands today. This is a little, little practice that came about from me owning my shit, I suppose. Whenever I get triggered, whenever we get triggered in life, it's very easy to blame the world, to judge the world out there for whatever is obviously wrong and bad and, and over the top and exaggerated and conflicting and downright terrible. It's very easy to blame the world and not own the trigger that is actually there for us in our lives and the lesson that comes from that trigger. So this is a little exercise which is about owning our shit. You want to join me for this practice? Then find a nice comfortable place, close your eyes and bring your awareness inside and we'll start a little journey to feel our bodies to begin with, feeling your breath, centering your awareness inside, turning your focus inwards. Breathe deeply. Relax your minds. Feel your bodies. Let go of any stress, any, any tension that you might feel. We're going to call upon something that's triggered you in the last few days. Deliberately bring your attention to something that has caused an emotional conflict in your life, something that has felt strong emotionally, maybe something that hurt you, maybe something that brought up some shame, some guilt, some fear, doesn't matter what it is. Pick one simple event and hopefully it involves usually somebody else or some, something out there in the world that has triggered this emotional reaction. Allow yourself to feel this emotion. Allow yourself to see what it triggers inside of you. See if there's any part of your body that comes alive when you feel this trigger, when you call upon it. See if there's any specific area or specific feeling, physical feeling that accompanies this emotion. Just be aware, not to judge, not to think about it, just to be aware. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper into what the trigger really is. So if you look at this trigger, you look at how it makes you feel, take a look at what it is that is really causing your reaction? What is it that, you're, that you have a negative judgment towards? What is it that you see is wrong, that you feel is unfair, that you are afraid of? What is it exactly? 
and we're going to peel back the layers of what it is. Sometimes it can be somebody's aggressive nature. Sometimes it can be some injustice that you see in the world. Sometimes it's somebody being mean and nasty. Sometimes it's a deep sadness that you're feeling about something lost, about something that may have brought up some grief, some sorrow. It doesn't matter what it is, take a look at it. See how you might blame the world or judge something out there as being wrong. And while this judgment might seem righteous to you, it might seem real, it might seem important for you, we're gonna let go of the judgment for a moment or two just so that we can own the trigger itself. When we have an issue with our own aggression, we're going to get triggered by other people's anger and other people's conflicting nature. When we have an unhealed abandonment story, we'll feel sad and we'll feel afraid that somebody is leaving or walking out on us or acting in a way which is neglecting. When we have an issue with our, our own inner fire, our own enthusiasm, motivation, our own purpose, we might have an issue with those who have too much fire. We might have an issue with those who not, won't have enough fire, might be lazy people, might be, might have issues with getting up and moving themselves. See if you can identify what it is that triggers you, what it is that brings you and makes you feel this conflict. Is it somebody's negative nature? Is it somebody's critical nature? Is it something, somebody's harsh nature? Whatever it is, take it Take that that you don't like and ask yourself, how am I this way towards myself? How am I angry at myself? How am I critical towards me? How do I abandon myself? How have I let go and lost myself and ignored myself? Whatever it is, Turn it inwards and see if you can own that which is triggering you in the outside world. It's difficult to see, ask. Ask for guidance. What is it? How is this me? How is the world mirroring me? If you gain some clarity, then Throw out your appreciation and your gratitude to whatever it was that triggered you so that you can see yourself more, so that you can understand who you are even clearer than before. If you didn't get the clarity that you needed, just be open and give thanks anyway. Understand that life is a beautiful mirror come to teach us whatever we need to see and we might not always be open to see what it is. And that's okay. 
We might not always be ready to understand the lesson and that's okay, we can still be thankful for life's lessons. And that openness that comes with the gratitude may be enough to help clear our minds and hearts and help us embrace a part of ourselves that we might not be embracing very well. Sit in this space of appreciation for as long as you want to, breathing deeply. you all a great day.